Today we're in the uh, Canberra wine region. In particular, we're in Murrum Bateman. We're going to check out a few wineries here today. It's about 30 to 35 minutes from Canberra ACT. Got around, like Alex said, four wineries, a couple of the sort of main ones, and then maybe a few smaller ones. Um, seems like they've got a good wine selection here in the Murrum Bateman, so a mix of sort of reds and whites and some sparklings. So um, should be a good day and we'll let you know what we think. We've just stopped um, to do a little wine tasting as the first stop of the day. So this one is one of the smaller wineries here. It's run by um, Wendy and Michael and Michael actually did the wine tasting with us so you can tell it's definitely a bit more um, personable than maybe some of the bigger ones here. We got here around about 11 so we're actually the first people here um, so it was a very much um, a bit of an intimate tasting which I suppose is good if you like that but there wasn't too much of a vibe here um, but they had a good mixture of wine, uh, white wines and reds as well as the sparkling so it's a good place if you just want to sort of pop in there was five dollars per person to do a tasting and you obviously get that money back if you do purchase a wine. We've got a really long way to the next winery it's literally just across the road. That's the great thing about here is that they're all pretty close so So that was Dionysus we just finished and now we're off to Four Winds which ah. is just here, first what? ones because it was uh, awfully quiet and um, yeah the conversation was just oozing so yeah ah oh, we're not good another four five six seven yeah eight cars beautiful I it's not So we just finished up at Four Winds Winery, uh, the standard $5 uh, tasting per person. Uh, we once again just had the whites and uh, sparkling Riesling. Uh, we ended up getting a Shiraz Rosé, that was probably the standout for us, hence why we bought a bottle. Um, this was about $30, um, and $5 off with the tasting. Really nice winery, nice uh, alfresco uh, bar and dining area on a nice deck out the back. Um, we're not having lunch here, but they look like they had some really nice wood fire pizzas. So definitely good to keep in mind if you're a bit hungry and want to have a nice pizza. But other than that, really nice place and we're off to the next one. So we just stopped at Shaw Winery and um, we've actually just had lunch at the restaurant that's connected, it's called Oliveville, it's um, behind me, sort of like an Italian sort of inspired feel, um, which is really really nice and we had some pizza and some croquettes which were delicious and we'll show you sort of in a minute sort of behind us is the actual wine cellar where you can do some taste testing and it has a very different feel, a lot more industrial but really modern. So um, yeah, we'd probably really recommend you checking out this place. It's definitely one of the main the main wineries, but um, we've had a nice meal and good experience here. Yeah. We just finished up at our final stop, uh, Helm Wines in Murrum Bateman. We ended up getting a bottle of a half dry Riesling, which is really nice. Once again, we stuck with the whites. Uh, the building behind me was a uh, old school classroom, uh, which finished up in 1939, and in the late 70s, they ended up turning it into a uh, Pretty cool inside. There's um, original seating and desks that the kids used to use, and yeah, it's just a really nice old building. So definitely worth coming and check out. So for me, I really enjoyed Helm Wines, uh, which was our last stop, and Four Winds. Um, 
Helm Wines was, as I said earlier in the video, uh, decommissioned um, classroom. Public school. Yeah, like a public <laughs> school. Um, Built in, what, what was it, 1880 eight, or something like that? The late 1800s, yeah. um, and then it was decommissioned um, as a little primary school there in like 1939, and in the mid to late 70s ended up, yeah, making wine and mm. and having um tastings there in this little classroom so that was pretty cool yeah and for me i probably like um the shore so that was probably a little bit more modern um well the the wine sort of cellar was whereas the west restaurant that we went to um as mentioned it felt like a bit more of an italian sort of feel but um overall you know definitely a good variety i think mm. so that's always nice when you know you can go to a couple of different places and get some different feels for, for what you like any wine region um you can see as much or as little as you want um we only went to four places and it was perfect for the day out yep. um, from canberra but um yeah if you're down this way definitely come and check it out it's some really nice places